Uh, so I, I cut off your story. I'm sorry, but uh, Ooh, well, uh, well, I was I was primed to go into this bed bug story. Oh yeah, we can do bed bugs. We can talk free. Because I'm kind of a bed bug expert after <laughs> living in Chinatown. I yes. say leave bed bugs. Uh, yeah. We'll leave with that. We'll I do so. intro. This is the first. So uh, the fans of the show have been putting up with pre-recorded episodes. <laughs> we did me and Stav and Adam did probably. 10 episodes in like a two and a half day span. Oh my God. So, and I did them out of order, but there was one of them that was just like, I don't, I don't, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Is it just like know. too Y'all dated already? Yeah, it's too dated, but then also like, I mean, you know, what kind of conversation are you going to have for literally 72 hours? The last one is just, you know, I th- I'm pretty sure, it, I mean, I, I don't remember it, but I can't imagine it's anything other than Stav just saying like, <laughs> I just ah, I want to fuck this bitch, but she won't. <laughs> I can't. She won't. I, her titty. I want to. She should suck my dick <laughs> for an hour and a half. And I was like, all right, solid episode. <laughs> we put it online for twelve thousand dollars a month. Y'all got bangers, man. Hey, yeah. that's what people. You ever want. think about doing like a clip show? You remember like sitcoms back in the day? Yeah, where they would just like. Have I thought about doing that. It would yeah. be great when I when we don't want to record, but that's so much work. To just go take through. Old Fresh Prince. Episodes. I don't even. I, I don't listen. I don't listen to the podcast ever. You, that's probably for the best too. Yeah, yeah it, it is. Just let them be. Let even them if be it's free. great, it's like I don't want to hear my voice or, you know, think about how this is where I wound up in my life, which is a good place to be. I guess you can't fucking bitch about. Yeah, it. I'm happy for you. I'm proud of you, man. I'm ex- Thanks, man. I'm excited. I'm so, happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know? uh, yeah. So I guess I'll. I'll. I'll <laughs> this is Come Town West with a different guest. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, I got Jamel Johnson. A hey. that's Jamel. That's me and Dana Bell. Hello. So it this is also these are also DC Comics. Funny Moms Class of uh, mm-hmm. 2013. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 2012, 2013. Something like that. Yeah. Something Letterman like Jackets. That. 2014. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is like the Come Town West crew for yeah. this week until the- Adam Adam and Stav are coming in next week. So <laughs> I guess we're gonna they couldn't stay away. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple. Well, because I told them we ran out of episodes. And uh, they were like, shit, so are you, you going to like fly back to New York? I was like, no, nah, I guess I'm just going to do the podcast with other people. <laughs> they were like, we're buying tickets now. <laughs> and they, they bought them that night. Yeah, because they're worried about getting replaced. Yeah, you got to hold I on mean, to, yeah. you, you know. You guys are both contenders to replace them. The I'm stocks excited. are volatile, so mm-hmm. I'm trying to get in. It's a bear market. I'm surprised they didn't fucking do their own podcast while I was gone and try to edge me out. Call That's it the, true. Call it the Comets or something yeah, like that. Uh, but just steal the name. <laughs> just be why the to, fuck no I don't know how to hire a lawyer that, and sue anybody just like the fucking temptations you remember when it was two sets of temptations no, no. that was like a thing like temptations too yeah yeah like uh, when they broke up and Eddie Ruffin first of all what do you mean remember this had to have happened like 45 <laughs> years before oh yeah were born. I'm talking about the fucking uh, miniseries the NBC miniseries you remember that shit no this mm-hmm. was like some like early was that, 90s was that part of that string where they were like doing biopics about people that were still alive yes exactly. and it was kind of weird like when they made that Robin Williams movie and it's like he hasn't even killed himself yet <laughs> we got another five years I didn't or so. know there was a Robin Williams movie there was and it was weird because they got a guy that it looked exactly like Robin Williams and it was almost like some agent found that guy and was like oh I know my what god there's only one thing to here's do. what yeah wrote the biopic himself you're gonna be young Pope that's how, <laughs> that's how that show happened um but yeah so I like I haven't I haven't done a podcast in weeks how you feel you you, you seem a little warmed up you know it's yeah. like you're ready to go well, I'm in my element you know yeah. He's got fully lathered suits on. yeah it's been a hectic couple of weeks. So, life in the fast lane. Kind At of. least there's like new stuff to talk about. There is, a, but it's all bad opinions, shit, I guess. A lot of opinions, yeah. though. The internet was coming for me pretty hard over the weekend. For real? Yeah, which is weird because I've been off. I got kicked off Twitter like a month ago. I forgot, dog. I don't even check for you anymore. Ever since uh, Nicole yeah. disappeared, oh, I was like, yeah. What's I don't know point? what to do. You know? Yeah. Well, I don't understand. Like, I, there's been so many iterations of people, like, going after me, you know, and they're like, explain this. And it's just like, I like to jack off, you know, on the bus or whatever. I mean, it's like, I don't, I have so much disdain for Twitter as a fucking medium. The fact that anyone could, like, at this point still try to, you know, take me to task for 
Just <laughs> what was the end result? How they nothing? What the it's test a, because what? I have no. Here's, like, here's the end result is because I have no ability to respond to it. It just goes away after. Two <laughs> well, days. also like what would they can't. Ki- they can't kick you off Twitter. You've already been kicked right, off Twitter. Right, I've already been kicked off Twitter. So there's nothing even to do. That's right. Yeah, it, it mostly became, it, because there's nothing to get me fired from, they were like trying to get people to stop being friends with me, <laughs> which is like such a like, don't let them come to your birthday party. You're not, we're having my birthday party at Discovery Zone, and you're not coming, and everyone else is coming, and you can't come. Right, and if you go to your birthday party, then yeah, it's like, that's, that's a bad sign. That's such a, that's such a fucking... You remember that shit when children would do that? Yeah, like, man. you can't come to my birthday party. It's like, yeah, I'm going to have to fucking buy you a present. <laughs> I'm winning. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, mm-hmm. I remember we used to just go every year was bowling. You guys ever do bowling with the um, the kitty rails? You yeah. Know what I mean? Ari Shafir has a joke about that. That He calls it the, the, the he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, I was bowling and uh, the Down Syndrome kids had their own special <laughs> device. <laughs> And he's like, I'm not making fun of the Down Syndrome kids. There's a way he says Down Syndrome in that joke that's so funny to me. Dang, I was jealous of them fools, man. Yeah. yeah. And you could just push the... Bo- like, they had bowling rigged. Yeah. But I don't understand what the point of that is. It's, it's to make you it, better at bowling. But you're not good at it. But you're good at, the, you're yeah. good at throwing it I'm, I remember, in a direction. I remember being a kid and thinking I was amazing at bowling, but I would play with the bumpers. And then, right. like, I would, like, talk to my friends about bowling or whatever at school. You know, like, you, you have, like, daily bowling <laughs> conversations with your friends. And I was like, yeah, I, I'm, fuck, I'm, like, good at bowling. And then I remember went, going friends and they didn't use the bumpers. And I'm like, we're not, we're seven. Right, we're, it's like a different you know, sport. We're, we're not grown well, ups. It's not even a sport. I shouldn't call it a sport. Yeah. But NBA level bowling. Yeah. I used to go bowling, like, uh, like pretty often in austin there was a place in cedar park that had like five dollar all you can bowl oh, that's, and then that's shoe real. rental was like four bucks so you pay nine dollars and you could bowl for like six hours fuck man i bowl all the time now like, do you there's a spot in koreatown uh chateau 39 Wait, is yeah. that the place that it's also sketchy has shit. i'm pretty sure they oh, prostitutes no. That oh one? no i was oh, gonna no, say a driving range no they're but... definitely running hoes out of the fucking chateau 39 what? man they have like security outside God, and inside. Imagine getting a bowling prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking. That's terrible. That's, she, they just clean themselves out under, over that like hand blowy yeah, thing. The foot spray. I was they just use imagining yeah. they smelled like shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That sounds great. Oh no, uh, it's a good old time. We yeah, should go. We I think should. They're, they're open to like. It's either it's got to be last call or after last call at minimum. Yeah. So you go fuck it up. About one thirty. You ever get kicked out of a bowling place because the league bowling guys come in? Yes. You guys have gone bowling <coughs> so much more than I've ever gone bowling in my entire life. I, because it's one of those things where, like, you it's bowling's tricky because you want to. It, it's a thing. You're like, I could be good at bowling, right? It yeah. just seems and, like and it's, it's like seems like a thing that you could be good at if you put enough time into like it. Cursive. But nobody yes. does it. Yeah. How you feel about pool? Right. Exactly. Like cursive. Yeah. <laughs> Something that you had oh, to do in third grade. Yeah. Cursive. You've. You've missed the boat on that. If you're not good at cursive by now, it's over. My yeah. signature's like, fucking trash too, son. Oh. I need to get on it. Is yeah. that cursive? I, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. I think it should signature be cursive. is different. That's just squiggly. You just have to make cool squiggly lines. Yeah. Cursive is. Harder. I started writing in all capital letters when I was in like seventh grade or something because <laughs> I thought it was badass, and I still write that way. <laughs> no. Well, you, you win it. That makes a lot of sense. Does it? I feel like yeah. I don't know why, but I just feel like, yeah, you're an all caps guy. You know who does that is, is like executives of businesses okay. and then also what? homeless people on their cardboard <laughs> signs. Those are the two spheres mm-hmm. of society that use all capital letters. Yeah, the that best Venn right. diagram. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think for both, both people, it's like if one thing had gone differently, they would have swapped lives. Uh huh. So. Oh man, I saw the fucking funniest shit today. And the people are going to say, "Oh, that didn't happen or it's not real." Adam has a lot of stories like that where he's like, "I saw this I saw this shit happen." And you're like, "That you, there's no way you're that lucky that you get to see all no, this." No, you see things. stuff like that all the time. I do, but I'm you, second to Adam in that that hierarchy of people that get to see hilarious shit. Yeah. But today, I was in downtown and I was walking behind this homeless lady who was like Super fucking homeless, you know, like the Extra. like the Sounds the pigeon cool. bitch from Home Alone Two. Yeah, yeah, like that <laughs> level. Bitch. 
Uh, but that's the character's name. She's just got like burlap you, sacks Why don't you on? go get the VHS, <laughs> wait for the credits to roll, pigeon and wait until pigeon bitch dot 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 as herself. <laughs> It'll come up. All right, I'll check so, it out. Yeah. yeah. No, I was walking behind this. It, it was like- so a, you, pigeon bitch. Yeah, it was me. Well, it was, uh, it was like this homeless black lady and she's got like a blanket over her head and a shopping cart just filled with like bags of stuff and like her shoes were all fu- like just severely homeless mm-hmm. and it was like starting to rain a little bit and I'm like maybe 15 feet behind her and this car pulls up with like these two girls in it and they like slow down and the girl in the passenger seat like rolls down the window and then she's like going through her like groceries or whatever and she pulls out like a loaf of like Ezekiel bread <laughs> and oh, like yes. mm-hmm. just ha- like like you know gestures out the window to hand it to her like you think it's going to be this fucking like upworthy moment <laughs> and the homeless woman just looks at her and looks back and looks back again and goes I don't need no fucking bread, bitch. <laughs> you fucking hoe. And starts yelling at her. <laughs> ah, on her own, too. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, with uh, your whole grain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she just starts trashing the girl in the car. <laughs> and she just has to, like, withdraw the bread. <laughs> As the friend rolls up the window and they drive away. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One time I was at... That did a lot for me. That's how every episode of that show... Uh, what would you do should end. <laughs> yes. You know that show? With that, the that old show? Like Nickelodeon show? No, nah, no. Nah, oh. it's, like, no. it's like on NBC Primetime or something. Oh, shit. That's like, not ugh. still on, is it? I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I can't remember a time I actually ever saw it broadcast. It's like a thing. It was like Upworthy before there was an Upworthy. You know, or a BuzzFeed before there was BuzzFeed. This is like a show where they're like, uh, we, he was set up a restaurant and we sent a (laughs) retarded guy in and tried to, he tried to read the menu and the waitress called him a retard. I thought that was just a part of Dateline. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, let's see what happens. It's like, now what if the retard was Muslim? And it's like, I don't even know what point you're trying to make. It was always someone being really mean to someone in a public setting and just seeing if someone would intervene. And it was like, well, you're just like, being yeah. mean to say, yeah, I don't know, it was right. like a really weird setup where it wasn't like what would you do in this situation yeah. well it's not a real experiment but it's like yeah. an idiot's understanding of what an experiment is it's like really <laughs> all all the all they're measuring is like what portion of the population is afraid of confrontation yeah and that's like the only real metric you could maybe get out of the show but now i just feel like everyone just assumes when they see something like that like in the back of their mind they're like this is one of those fucking shows yeah like this is gonna be mm. how i respond is gonna be yeah. on tv well uh-huh. there should be an nbc show called i don't need no fucking bread bitch <laughs> <laughs> and it's just what would you do but that's the response Every whenever time. anyone tries to be Laugh nice at the bread yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah you're on the jamie kennedy experiment <laughs> that's a camera that's a camera that's a camera you're a bitch that's a camera the bread is a camera I'm the opposite. I don't assume shit is fake. I assume everything's real, and I'm gonna have to testify in court. Yeah. Oh, that's so a, it's yeah, time for that's me to a go. good attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I totally walk away. There's like the <laughs> amount of times I've like intervened in something in my life is I could count on one hand. Yeah. The, the pie chart is it's definitely uh, uh, it ain't even. Yeah, yeah. I was in. I uh, actually I feel like I intervene a lot, uh-huh. but like, but it's always like a really obvious choice to intervene like, yeah. like my Type neighbor or who i thought was like <laughs> like abusing his girlfriend yeah. anyway call the cops for that just uh no calling the cops is not intervening okay cool well i have an intervening story True. which is yeah. i was in an uber then and the we cops saw just this, show up and like, shoot both of them <laughs> That's true. They're but like, then, are you ready to you know. call the cops? Okay. <laughs> we got to check the handbook, but I think we have to shoot you too. I think we just have to shoot everybody. Yeah, yeah. This is how it works. Look, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I'm we afraid we, constantly yeah. and I'm doing my job. Uh, they actually replaced the Academy with a DVD copy of the movie Crash. <laughs> and that's how we learn how to be police officers now. So, it's an Oscar winner, so you yeah. know it's good. Uh, we talked about it in another episode, but like, you, it's like a whole aspect of that movie that they didn't explore is Terrence Howard's micro penis. Damn. Yeah, that's a weird movie. America to re- needs to see that to rewatch, knowing that Terrence Howard has a micro penis. I don't remember anything about that movie, yeah. but uh, I'm sure it would be better if I knew that he had a micro penis. It's a terrible yeah, movie. It's not a good movie. At you all. remember you? You guys hear the thing about him? He's like, he made up his own math. Yes. He like wrote a book. He's a yeah, Terrence Howard is, is like a self proclaimed like, mathematician. Yeah, he got like really mad about like one times one equaling one. And he was like Oh, that like dumb algebra trick? Yeah. yeah. And he I don't remember. This was a while ago, right? Yeah, he wrote a whole book about how it's eleven. 
basically. One times one is eleven. Yeah. Then what so he's thing? just not operating on like base ten mathematics. Yeah. He's doing his own thing. Yeah. Season you know we know where that came from is he measured his dick and it was <laughs> one inch. <laughs> and he was like, you know and what? He was this like, is? no, it's eleven. I got eleven in eleven inch dick. <laughs> Fuck everybody. <laughs> Man, I don't have I don't have a small dick. It's eleven inches, man. Um, <coughs> yeah, uh, a lot of people didn't know about the micro penis. I got into an argument with it or about it at work. People just didn't believe me that Terrence Howard had a micro penis. We had to look it up at work. Yeah, how do you would, and put is it there on? There's photographic the evidence. Yeah, well, yeah you data? pull it up. He for some reason he just went naked in a movie, in a Fifty Cent's movie. Really? Yeah. So it's a very easy argument to settle. Get rich or die trying. Is that one? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Terrence Howard's penis. Yeah. Damn. I saw that in the fucking theaters, bro. Wait, and you don't remember? Yeah, I should have remembered that. It was, I mean. It's very, it's a split second. Okay. Oh, but somebody was like, oh, I can pause this and see it. And there it is. Yeah. Or well, they turned it, it into a GIF. Enhance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Enhance. Mm-hmm. Nope. nope. You know. Keep enhancing. Keep going. Yeah. Um, do you guys have anything coming up? Anything you want to plug? Plugs. Oh, is it over? I know. It's not over. We've been doing this 15 minutes. We have another okay. 45 minutes to go. I know. I just feel like... Normally. I feel like there wasn't enough of an intro. Oh. Um, yeah, same. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm still Jamel. Yeah. You're Dana. Yeah, yeah. What do I got coming up? I got a show at this weird uh, art space, uh, April 7th. Uh-huh. Mm. It's called Comedy in the Cut. Yeah. Well, you have a podcast too, right? Oh, yeah. I got a basketball podcast. What's what? it called? Air Buds. Air Buds. Air Buds on, uh, on SoundCloud. Do you, uh, do you have any... Are you worried about legal trouble with uh, the Air Bud? The, but, I mean, I figure the plural, I'm trying to get over like Vanilla Ice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. One slight difference. Yeah. Means yeah. it's mine. That itty That's bitty smart. Thing. Yeah. We are, we're using kind of the same color scheme, but I don't give a shit. Yo, fuck <laughs> yeah. Golden. Is that the color scheme? <laughs> <laughs> All golden, goldenrod yeah. mm-hmm. on uh, honeysuckle. You yeah. feel me, man? I think golden retrievers had a hot run in the nineties. Dog, fifteen years yeah. of hits. Yeah, that that was America's dog, and then it's not somehow been replaced by pit bulls. That's when I was. What ha- What happened to the culture? You America know? got fierce, man. Yeah. I guess we were too soft. Is that Trump's America? Yeah, man. Is pit bulls welcome out? You have you ever seen those pictures of uh, speaking of somebody who doesn't have a micro penis <laughs> of Pitbull dancing on stage with different women? No. He no. just gets his dick completely hard in his pants, <laughs> like dress da- pants. Yeah, da- dancing with people, Gross. and you can see him like grinding, what? and he's just got this massive hard on. I have a question as a lady though, like yeah. that. I mean, it's not hard to not get a boner when you're. Is it hard to not get a boner when you're dancing with no, people? No, you have you to make an effort. Able... I think Pitbull right? has to make an effort if he's on stage at like an <laughs> iHeart Media production yeah. to get his dick hard That's for like a fucking, think. you know. He thought it would be a good look. Yeah. I feel like he thought it would be impressive <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to have a hard dick on Which stage. Which I can understand. I actually fuck with Pitbull more after I saw those pictures. Yeah, hard dick in front of like a whole crowd, like <laughs> I mean, camera yeah, crew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like his whole vibe and all of his songs you know make who would, more sense you know who do has that a hard dick the whole time yeah but you know who would do that is an actual pitbull pitbull yes. would have its fucking pink dick out he's living his mm-hmm. rhymes yeah yeah exactly um yeah. so i guess uh this week i saw get out <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, look this is a fast-paced podcast we're moving it around hey. we got it we got it we got cool. it go. no keep if it. you want to jump in with anything jump in jump out change the conversation sure up yeah. You know, uh-huh. the key to successful podcasting, and I've learned this. Quick moves. In my six month rise to the top, right before my, you know, dramatic fall <laughs> this week at the hands of, uh, uh, Stalinists, I believe it was, uh, on Twitter <laughs> that had a problem with me. Is people that like Joseph Stalin a lot. I love being lectured on comedy by people who's like, Avatar is a statue. <laughs> it's like some obscure fucking. Oh shit! I almost bought a Russia soccer jersey. So you guys know I got uh, at soccer niggas on Twitter. Hell oh, yeah! You know I'm a big I'm, yeah, a, yeah. I'm a big fan. And is that your Instagram also? No. Well, I got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I definitely keep. I got, I got it on me, but uh-huh. yeah, broccoli house. What is, the main. Why broccoli house? Where does uh, that come from? Is there a big is there a big Premier League thing going on right now? Yeah, it's just like uh, the, the season's kind of coming around. It's like it's like the last like month and a half or shit. So you know, it's just getting tired. Uh, English sports is weird because there's no playoffs. Oh, really? Yeah, huh. you just it's just like you accumulate Somebody just points. Has the most, the yeah. yeah, that kind of I kind of like that more. That makes sense. 
I mean, it kind of makes every game more interesting, but it's also kind of stupid. But then stupid. there's no moment of... Yeah. Like, yeah. Because somebody could just win in February, yeah. and then you just have to watch three more months of fucking soccer. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That happens sometimes. Uh, yeah. But this year is kind of good. But I was in the spot, and they had a fucking, like, a bunch of Team Russia jerseys on clearance, uh, and I almost went there. I don't think I'm ready yet. Well, the, my most, the most coveted tracksuit, if I could have any tracksuit. Russia. Well, the nineteen like eighty Russian Olympic tracksuit. Ooh, yeah. is it like bright red? Yeah, mm-hmm. red with the yellow or white? Uh, I think I've only seen a couple of pictures of it online because I went looking specifically for that one. Damn, yeah, that and does yeah, sound like a I think it's one. like red with a white stripe, and I think that's like they they couldn't have Adidas because they were like communist, yeah. so they couldn't have so they had some like Adidas State knockoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Spandex. something like that. Yeah, that's the deal. Tracks, how many tracksuits you got? Oh, I really only... I'm kind of a poser. I only got two. Hey, but three pants. I have two full suits, three sets of pants. See, I'm kind of the other... I've got three jackets, Yeah, two pants. Well, with the, at the time when I started buying a lot of tracksuits, I didn't really have any money. So I was just wasting money on tracksuits. <laughs> True. And now that I like have enough money, I feel like I've leapfrogged tracksuits and now I buy PlayStations and TVs and shit. <laughs> you just got a room full of laser discs? Yeah. Well, in my head, I'm like, oh, it's a business expense, and I can't wait until I get audited. And they're like, they're like yeah, no, we're, we're just going to take the PlayStation. We're going to take it down to the Leave government. the controllers. They turn it into a the- yeah, camera to spy on Syrian children, whatever they do, <laughs> with PlayStations. Um, yeah, I don't know. I started playing FIFA because Stav and Adam had FIFA, and I was like, oh, cool, we can play online. And now they just come to my apartment and play FIFA there. So That'll it was a happen. mistake to buy FIFA. <laughs> Yeah. Now you just got uh, grown ups mm. playing games all in your crib. Yeah, because I'm gonna play. I was I started playing that new Resident Evil. How is that shit? It's cool. I'm with it, man. Yeah. I, six sucked. Uh, I, all, I the only one I ever liked was the remake of the first one. Uh, what they call it? it was just zero was like on uh zero was the one after zero yeah. was the sequel to the remake, but the yeah. remake was just called Resident Evil. Yeah, when it, was it also on GameCube? Yeah. They tried to make yeah, GameCube yeah. cool so yeah. many times. Yeah, they did. God bless. Well, GameCube him. was the last good Nintendo console. I mean, I'm yeah. not buying that Switch shit. I mean, I stopped playing video games for like eight years just because I was wasting so much money on it. Getting you know? up in GameStop. But now I got money to waste. Know the whole staff's name? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, never to that extent. That's That would be fucked up. <laughs> I feel. If you were on first name basis. With, with the, the entire. Yeah. With I, the- I, I worked as a seasonal employee at GameStop, though. Oh, nice. Yeah. I tried to get that job. Didn't work. It's Potomac great. Mills, they went Ireland. You get a 25% discount on games. That's, that's the only reason I did it. That's what the fuck I'm talking and, about. And yeah, there were some fucking autistic people that worked <laughs> at that goddamn store. You know a seasonal job I had? I, I used to work at a fucking rest stop on uh, uh, 95. Yeah, oh, I thought sure. that was like a regular job, though. I mean, it was. I say it's seasonal because I was only there for one season. Oh, okay. You know I made it a summer. It wasn't like a Christmas <laughs> job. Oh, no, no. It's not it was like we need more summer. Christmas help for the <laughs> Christmas rush at the fucking bathroom. Yeah, that doesn't. That's like a yeah. different meaning. People are going to have, have Christmas diarrhea. They're going to have gingerbread diarrhea. And we need extra hands to mop it all up. Yeah, also the head of the rest stop is like a. Uh, FAO Schwartz. Do you work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old man. I have two turtle doves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy was a pedophile, right? Yeah. In Home Alone Two, he was just trying to fuck Kevin. Of course, man. He Everyone had no kids. in that movie is trying to fuck Kevin. Thin, chinless yeah. guy. The robbers, the pigeon bitch, mm-hmm. his parents. The pigeon mm-hmm. bitch. Nah, man. The pigeon bitch was just she just fucked with kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She had a like you know a miscarriage that made her yeah. crazy. I like that. Just like a, an affluent white family can be that reckless with their child and not lose them, like not have child protective services be like, well, this is the second time you <laughs> exposed your son to violent criminals through negligence. <laughs> Left your kid in the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, you know what I say that's the American dream dog what being able to being rich enough child? to leave your kids and then they just come back fine yeah and you did nothing I mean that's how rich kids all rich kids have like horribly negligent parents yeah, you yeah. just like let them buy cocaine when they're like 11 and mm-hmm. instead and of waiting whatever. until they're 19 <laughs> yeah the yeah. respectable <laughs> age to buy cocaine <laughs> read a few books child. before I you mean, start seriously though don't do it in the house you know 
Yeah. Then you're just, that's just bad parenting because you're not learning how to be subtle about things. Uh, you guys ever hang out with any of those kids? Those I, remember, like, mm-hmm. I was in night school with these these two black girls that had kids and they were like, their kids were already like four or five and they were probably like 17, 18 or whatever. So they were like moms, you know, they yeah. like just just had fucking, the routine down. Yeah. They knew how to be fucking moms or whatever. And I remember one of them, we were riding the bus somewhere. And she was saying, like, yeah, my son got this fucking, like, banged his head, and he's got this fucking, like, welt that won't go down or whatever. And I was like, why don't you take him to the hospital? And they were both like, no, 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 no. And they were like, yeah, like, like, I had made some grave error in suggesting that they take their kid to the hospital. And I was like, what the fuck? Why? They're like, they're going to say it's neglect, and my kid's going to be taken away from me. Oh, fuck. And I was like, holy shit. Valid. Yeah. I have to report these women <laughs> to child protective services. <laughs> and I marched down there. I filled out the paperwork. But unfortunately, I forgot how to spell their names. You there know, you go. There were too many, there were too many vowels. Is it Ralisha Twelves? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, we've actually run out of ink. So. <laughs> Put a couple asterisks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, dollar sign. Let's say I, I, I wanted to spell. I started spelling my name with like the dollar sign bars, but through every single letter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. It, I don't know if people would get it or not. No, I think no. they. I think they would probably <laughs> get it more than you'd like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like that could blow up like yeah. on some like at the fucking Supreme mm-hmm. store or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would I be cool. Some hype beast with that shit. Well, on. the goal is just to get into the Supreme store. Now that I'm fucking, I'm a Hollywood guy. You know? Oh yeah. Malibu Mall Dog, my new. <laughs> Ooh. People can't see this, but I actually have a goatee uh, right now and sunglasses. <laughs> It's true. I have it's a, pointing into your nostril. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got sunglasses, a black bandana now instead of my regular yellow one. R.I.P. to the competition. Yeah. That's why we go all black. Um, speaking of all black, did you, uh, <laughs> did you guys see Get Out? <laughs> I finally... I'm just going to keep yeah, bringing yeah, this. You, you called me at the right time. I finally saw it. I had to see it yeah. just to find the source material for all the memes. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, the, you know, you're in the sunken place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sunk. I went down to uh, the sunken palace. Yeah, and she was. You know, I feel like you know being on Twitter kind of ruined the movie. I honestly, I blame yeah. my little brother mm-hmm. for kind of giving away. I was like, okay, and I mean, also like, I don't think there's anything to give away though. I mean, you yeah. kind of go into it knowing exactly what's going to yeah, happen, yeah. and that's what makes it a good movie. Yeah, is that it's like, all right, here's what you're gonna get, and then it fucking delivers straight yes. through. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's still the twist was I. So I went into it thinking, all right, worst nightmare. Some white people want to lobotomize me, obviously, and I was like, imagining like a bunch of like black people getting mutilated, but it was, you know, spoiler alert. Yeah. The other go, it, it doesn't matter. No one who listens listen to, to this podcast is going to watch. Well, it yeah, <laughs> just to see. Just to, they're uh, already they already stopped listening to this one <laughs> because I criticized the white family from Home Alone. Yeah, so. no, true. <laughs> they're just going back to listen to stuff. So spoil away. <laughs> well, yeah, just you know, watching a black dude, uh, you know, impale. A, yeah. a, a family mm-hmm. uh, from the burbs. It was fun. Very yeah, I had a great time. Yeah. Well, what's cool about it too is that like it it. I saw some criticisms of people saying it's like, you know, like sort of like a kill whitey exploitation movie in the same vein as Django or whatever, but it's not at all. And like there's maybe that that scene where he gets out of the chair and like runs away is maybe what? Three and a half minutes long. It's all necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's all necessary. And then it's like, you know, I mean, a pretty easy, you know, uh, uh, allegory to pick apart. And it's not heavy handed. It's kind of well done. It's well paced. And it's uh, why I enjoyed it was because it's like, usually I fucking hate horror movies. They're all garbage with yeah. the exception of. Because they try so hard. No, because they don't. Like half of them <laughs> are made by WWE. Oh, true shit. I saw Oculus because someone recommended Oculus a couple years oh, ago. Oh, boy. And it's like fucking WWE Productions. And I was like, there's no way this is good. <laughs> and it's like, what if a mirror was scary? And that's it. That's all the thing was is. just yeah. watching you at the top of the yeah. theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That <laughs> right. would be cool. Yeah. yeah. That I'll would be a that. cool horror movie if Sting was just following you around and he's like in the rafters <laughs> everywhere you go. Remember we were going to do that, me, you, and Adam? Were gonna oh, be the, the Stings, the original the, Stings of Comedy. The Stings of Comedy. And then we were we going to put have... a little tiny Bernie Mac. Yeah. It was yeah, us yeah, and yeah. Sting Paint. Yeah, we were all going to have... Uh, uh, WCW sting paint on her faces. Nice. I'm close, man. I'm, I'm working on it. Like you know I mean? I know we're gonna what get that some. Is or... 
I'm going to hook up some development like. deals. We're going to get there. Yeah, that yeah. would be sweet. You, yeah, yeah, use your new Hollywood connections. I'm and Hollywood yeah. as hell, dog. Get, yeah. Uh, well, I went to go see Get Out, and Adam was like, um, go see it in Compton. You have to go see it in a black theater. And it's like, I don't think I have to go to Compton. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You could, uh, no. I feel like that's like a very... Magic Johnson's got a lot of yeah. theaters. Like I, don't, I don't know how Compton. much that's going to fundamentally change the movie. I feel like that's a very like white person in Get Out thing to say. Oh, yeah, like, it if, is. like they would be like, uh-huh. oh, I saw, let me tell you, I saw Get Out in yeah. Compton and it just yeah. changed the whole movie. Uh-huh. You know, like that's what they would tell. <laughs> Although I will say, I saw Django in theaters too twice and i I saw it in like you know a more diverse uh uh theater and then like a predominantly white one and i swear to god i'm not kidding you know the the one that was more diverse there was like people clapping at the revenge scenes or whatever people were laughing at the n-word in the white in the white theater (laughs) when somebody was saying the n-word they were like ha ha ha." (laughs) they were like i get this yeah it might have just been me i mean but that (laughs) means people so i'm included in people you are every people i might have just been drowning out everyone else's laughter with my own With my cigar and my Hawaiian shirt in the middle of the theater, with my feet up, <laughs> Laying harassing Nick Nolte's family, <laughs> <laughs> laughing at, at Jenny. That's a Cape Fear reference for mm. Dana, who hasn't seen any movie. Do you know that? I haven't gotten most of the references. I tuned out Come during on, the man. whole video game. Juliet Lewis? Yeah. You know, I was just saying today that the other sister is kind of a fucked up movie because Juliet Lewis is like hot. Like yeah, I, I had like a thing you, for Julia Lewis. True. Another sister came out, and it's I was like, happy that she was. Should I stop cheeks? beating yeah. off to this? I don't understand <laughs> what this is doing to me. Yeah, same. Me too. J- Juliet Lewis <laughs> is an actress yeah. who's mm. American actress. I know yeah. who Julia. I know who all the actors yeah. are. I've just never seen any of the movies they've ever yeah. been in. How does that happen? I don't know. A lot Juliet. of people mags. Well. I get. I don't know. Yeah, the, I'm just aware of things in movies, but I've never seen any of them. Uh, the Other Sister is a movie where Juliette Lewis plays a retarded woman, mm-hmm. hence The Other Sister. Mm. Um, <laughs> just, <laughs> which I love the title of the movie is just like the fucking cruelest euphemism. <laughs> yeah, like straight off top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's instead of like, she's all that, it's, oh, she's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad, yeah, and then Freddie Prince Jr. plays the love interest in the in the other sister. <laughs> oh, is he's he's retarded too? <laughs> no, it's um, I was doing a joke on. Uh, oh no, no, the- <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have to pretend to laugh at it. Yeah, like, no, because yeah. yeah. now I'm like I was in it. I was uh, swept yeah, yeah. away. I appreciated it. Yeah, yeah, I was in. That's why it's because I thought it was when yeah. people listen to the podcast complain about Stav's incessant laughter, and it's like they don't realize that. The show is a four and a half minute long podcast well, you, you interrupt, the laughs. interrupted by Stav's laugh. Exactly. Yeah. I'm here to fill a role. Yeah. We, oh, you laughs. don't have to replace Stav. I mean, no, just the, just the laughs. LPM. No one could ever replace Stav. I mean, everybody Aww. knows that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's so I don't mean as my friend. Anyone could easily replace him <laughs> as my friend. He's, he's he not really worth it. Invaluable on the he's show. Yeah. Friendship? He doesn't mean hey, that. Great broadcast. He's got his fingers crossed behind his back. Yeah. Right behind Vern Lundquist. In the Hall of Fame of Broadcasting. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys talking about? You don't know Vern Lundquist? Who is Vern Lundquist? He's the guy who does all the Final Four shit. We still haven't finished explaining the other sister. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah. Hold on, go yeah. get Yeah, yeah the rest that. of this yeah. podcast is just explain stuff to me. I have no problem turning it into that. Yeah. Ooh, great. That's such an easy out <laughs> and such an easy way to fucking walk through, you know. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I also, let me finish this get out anecdote, too. And then we have to talk mm. about bed bugs. I haven't forgotten. Okay, yeah, we all got... So we got you in the queue, Spotify yeah. queue. Uh, so <laughs> get in, in Get Out, this is another spoiler, but, you know, fuck it, who cares? Yeah, yeah, like, fuck it. Uh, so, you know, remember the scene where, like, he's finally escaping from the house? Yeah. Uh-huh. And the, the girl has the rifle, and then she sicks the, like, granddad groundskeeper black dude on him. Yeah. And he chases him down, he does the camera thing, and the guy's, like, hippocampus activates or whatever, and he turns around and shoots the girl. Yeah. You know? Uh, everyone in the theater starts like clapping. They're like, "Yeah," because he like shot the white girl. Yeah. And then he turns back around. And he puts the gun under his chin. And he blows his brains out. And one guy in the theater Got started pumped. clapping. Oh my god! <laughs> he starts clapping, yeah. <laughs> and it was so fucking funny. <laughs> It was like the perfect bit. I almost felt like that guy had to have watched the movie the first time. Yeah, it was knew. like, I got to come back. I got I to do that <laughs> fucking nail bit. This. Yeah. All in Burbank. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Nice. Yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah. I got yelled at by a guy uh, uh, when I was watching Ant-Man. Hitman? Ant-Man. You oh. remember that one? 
uh, oh, Paul, Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah, I, do, yeah. I also haven't. Seen I was that. in. I was we in got Baltimore in, like, in a weird kind of shape in that movie. Yeah, I was on mushrooms at, at, at a theater in Baltimore, and it was you know it's Ant Man. Yeah. So it's like at the climax of the movie where he's got to get like extra tiny. Yeah. Did you go see it in Baltimore? Because Adam was like. You gotta go you see, see it. <laughs> Make sure it's a black theater that you see Ant Man in. I went to West Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tripping. It was it was a trap house that had a projector <laughs> set up in it. I rode in on a motorbike. Yeah, right, yeah. Wheelies, I went to wheelies. a Hotep meeting to, to go watch Stuart Little so I could get the real experience. <laughs> <laughs> I rented out a theater with the black Israelites. I'm just laughing about Adam in a theater in Compton. <laughs> uh, hey, what's with up? his legs crossed? No, I mean, yeah, like, no, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 with his legs crossed, all gay. He's got his like limp ankles. He's got like he's got like the way a, like a fey wrist, but in his ankle bones. True. Mm. Yeah. I, yeah. So he I know, does, I know exactly foot, what I mean. Like, like, uh, just dangle. like he's holding his foot out for you to yeah, hold yeah. up like he's a debutante coming down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Very precious. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. Adam in that theater. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he sits well, like Michael, a he's Paul Simon making, album sounds. Yeah. Yeah. So, a field trip. But a field trip? To Compton. Make him go to Compton and see. Yeah, he should be forced to be like a big brother. When like he comes out brother. here, we'll, oh, we'll yeah. go out there. We'll get him out there. I'll take him out to Compton. I'm gonna pick him up from LAX, and then we just won't leave LAX. <laughs> is Compton though? I, is Compton like like Harlem is now, where people are like, oh, Compton? Nah, I know, like Compton's, Crenshaw's. Compton's kind of crazy. Crenshaw's. Crenshaw's more like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crenshaw's like Harlem. Even Inglewood's a little more chill, yeah. but like Compton's like, oh, now yeah. you're out there. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Check your check your T-shirt. Yeah, because yeah. where's that play? Which a oh, Watts is like also becoming. Um, well, I don't know if it's like well, it's Watts, like more chill. I mean, I feel like Watts. Yeah, like they they burned down Watts like once, and they were like, "All right, yeah, we got." Now it. they have it's like some fancy. It's like a fancy fast food place. I don't know. All right, this is you yeah, haven't like, been down there. Yeah, it's like Roy Choi. It's like an L.A. guy. He made a. He's the guy who started the L.A. taco truck craze, not like the food truck craze in America. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, all right. I know he didn't start the crazy in L.A. Right. I didn't mean I taco like, trucks. I feel like East L.A. No, no, no. Not taco trucks. He did like there. he did like Korean taco trucks. The ice cream trucks started that shit. Ice cream trucks started trucks. Well, food first trucks. trucks. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, first trucks. Which is weird that that's like a business that's still allowed to operate. It's like yeah, I go around and I lure neighborhood children <laughs> to my vehicle <laughs> with sweets, <laughs> but it's for money. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's a uh, ice cream truck who rolls around my building, but mm -hmm. like, you won't see him till like after eight. Yeah, it's like oh, yo, yeah. What there's the fuck so you, many. You're of trying those. to get kids to leave their house. Yeah, it's not like oh, you're catching them after school even. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just it's very intentional. assumed that those were just like people selling drugs late at night, and it was like oh, they would because oh, there was like one that Master P. was like yeah. in my neighborhood yeah. in DC. There was a, there was a truck. There was a truck in Austin that would go around had ice cream truck music, and I remember because it fooled Chris Cubis and he was furious, <laughs> and they sell hot corn. <laughs> it's just like a hot corn truck <laughs> which is like exact a fucking, opposite it's like a simpsons joke yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like a in, boiling like, hot texas style ginger ale yeah. <laughs> you remember that uh, oh shit no. I did not yeah that's but, i only remember the monorail that's yeah it. which mm -hmm. the monorail is like the get out guy it's like a monorail thing Ooh. that's what he was doing with clapping is that monorail bit you know where homer says so whatever yeah, anyhow so Juliet lewis <laughs> plays a retarded woman Okay. And uh and uh, I'm hooked. Yeah. Giovanni Rabisi Love interest nice. is the love interest. Ooh. Uh well, cookies are the love interest. They bond <laughs> over their love of cookies. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. But you know why that movie was successful and I am Sam wasn't? And I don't know the numbers on either one of those movies. Yeah, wasn't I Am Sam successful? Uh, I, mean, I Am Sam didn't is fucking. Somebody get nominated for something for that? Yeah, it would be great if there was a critic that hated it and they wrote like this movie is literally retarded <laughs> and then they misinterpreted that and put it like in those like oak leaves <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the cover of the movie. <laughs> you know, it's like this movie is literally retarded. Uh, <laughs> you know, Glenn Stevenson, uh, SF Weekly, <laughs> four stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, well, why I Am Sam's a piece of shit is because like you know they have Sean Penn in it and even if you had the greatest even if you have fucking Daniel Day Lewis you know or you know Brando or whoever you think the fucking best actor in the world is the best Marlon Wayans 
Yeah, mm-hmm. Marlon Usually. Wayans. If you had every single one of the Wayans brothers in that movie, <laughs> uh, and you had them method acting their fucking heart out to be a retarded guy, you can't cast his friends as actual people with mental disabilities and not have it look like a cruel mockery. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. Sean Penn's like, oh, what shoes should we get? And then, like, the camera pans, and it's a guy who actually has Down syndrome. <laughs> and it's like, this is, f- what the fuck is going on? <laughs> How? Who thought this was a good idea? It should have been Giovanni Ribisi, who just looks like he has Down syndrome. Yeah. Which is what they did with the other sister. And it's yeah, a better movie. It. Yeah. 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 Well, the only thing I remember of that movie is that the scene where he shows up to pick up Juliet Lewis for the date and the dad is like, I'm going to kick this fucking guy's ass because he thinks <laughs> it's like a regular guy that's just like, hey, check this out. <laughs> a slow girl. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he opens the door and Giovanni Rabisi's in like a dog costume. and He's like, my name's Daniel. And they're like, oh, he's retarded, too. <laughs> And that's supposed to be like a fun comedic moment in the movie. Is it a comedy? A, uh, I it, mean, you know, it's okay. It's Jamel, romantic it first, <laughs> and like comedy third. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? It's a yeah, romantic yeah, yeah. comedy. Okay. Um, well, I'm probably never gonna watch it, but I appreciate the time that you took to tell me about it. The DVD's already <laughs> in the mail, dog. Yeah, I also remember the scene where you find out Daniel's Daniel the. Giovanni Ribisi's characters, uh, his uh, like fixation is marching band music. <laughs> He's really mm-hmm. into like John Philip Sousa and shit. Mm-hmm. Do you want to watch that shit now? Oh, yeah. A weird piece of fiction is uh, Flowers for Algernon. Yeah, I have read that book. Yeah, I don't yeah. know that one. That's you know? no. Oh, uh, that? well. yeah. So it's about a, a guy that's retarded, mm-hmm. right on. and uh, this they like the scientists do an experimental surgery to make him not retarded. But the way it works is he's not like instantly smart. Well, maybe he is instantly smart, no. but he has to learn all this shit. No, oh, so I it's, think not, it's, it's not like no, Stefan like or Kel. It, no, it's like, well, because it's written in like a diary form. And then he slowly becomes hyper intelligent. He becomes a genius. Yeah, he becomes too uh, smart. And then he like, he, and it's, it's like an Icarus story. Yeah. Too close to the sun. Well, no, but it's not like his it. fault. It's just like yeah. the drug wears off. And then there's also a love story going on in it. But... Then when he becomes too much of a genius, he becomes like an a, asshole. a dick to this girl. Oh, they do that. They do that in like sitcoms all the time. Yeah, it's not not necessarily not like Stefan or Kel, but I've seen that plot. Yeah, a yeah. few times. Right. Maybe more like in cartoons. I feel like cartoons do that. I remember there's a, a Baywatch little. episode where there's like a guy that's a loser <laughs> that's trying to impress this girl, but she's really interested in uh, Hasselhoff. Of course. And so he's trying to help out the loser. So he like plays up his like uh you know fucking machismo bullshit he like decides to be an asshole he's like why don't you dump the loser and get with her get rid of the zero and get with a hero he's like why have you know hamburger when you can have steak and she's like oh this guy's an asshole i'm gonna fuck the loser instead and then hasselhoff is the magnanimous hero saves the day as usual yeah mm-hmm. what that's, a fun show that's to beautiful <laughs> i used to watch that's that great. shit like last year uh i just had like regular ass tv you know yeah. like a digital antenna yeah. they still show that shit in reruns what yeah. season one of baywatch is like a drama like a serious yeah. kind of drama yeah like huh. like they only like like it's like like they save like one life at the yeah. end per episode yeah yeah and it's just it's like yeah. a very serious lifeguard well, situation there were so many tv shows similar to how tech works now where like snapchat is clearly just for sending pictures of your dick to people absolutely that's it uh, which i think the ceo has even acknowledged <laughs> <laughs> oh they've got some pretty fun filters on yeah there. just like baywatch is a dramatic tv show it's mm-hmm. a fucking they used to be able to make shows and they're like well it's so children can beat off this is pornography for 13 year olds absolutely because oh, they don't wild there's no wild internet wild. Right. There's Wobbly no internet. Man. You know you're going to get fucking huge ratings. You know, like let's And then there's fucking... some people out there who are watching it like me on Snapchat who are like, "I'm in this for the writing." You yeah. Know? Like I appreciate uh-huh. it. And the like the finer points. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're making a Baywatch movie. And I saw the trailer at in Get Out and I was walking, I had to go piss, and so like I was walking back up the stairs. And the Baywatch trailer like comes on, and there's two like 45 year old guys, like you know, well, probably older than that, sitting next to each other in the theater, sitting Adam style. <laughs> Deduced from that, would ankles will. just dangling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
um, they were like they were holding they their feet were like holding hands with each other. Oh, <laughs> like, no, that that's gross. Happen. But the Baywatch trailer comes on, and one of the guys is like, oh, "This looks so fucking stupid." And it's like, "Yeah, it's Baywatch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a Baywatch the movie." Yeah. I mean, it's I, like there's been so much stuff I've been seeing about the new like Power Rangers reboot. You, one of the Power Rangers like, just murdered somebody. Did you see that story? What? Oh yeah, yeah. the original one. No, he yeah, murdered. no, it was the Red Ranger from like one of these new reboots, you know, or like the oh, newer those middle. Yeah, where it's like Power Rangers, made. like Ninja Ape Force, where they yeah, turn yeah. into like, I don't know, Ninja Apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, Power Rangers Ninja Turtle Force, <laughs> where they become Ninja Turtles. Uh, nah, yeah, yeah, the red the red ranger killed his roommate. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with a fucking sword. Yes. Oh, yeah. I thought he. St- oh, Damn. yeah, and like yeah. wasn't he was like in the shower or something? It was like his roommate was taking a shower, and then well, they were having like, some dispute him. over a girl. It was over and a girl. He, it wasn't even rent. Which is so funny because like shit like that is like the fuck. Isn't that okay in Sharia law? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That Wait, you're allowed to bring in your real life because I think I'm right here. <laughs> you're bringing a if, good point. If, you, <laughs> if you like try to fuck someone's wife, right? Uh-huh. And sh- under Sharia law, you are allowed to kill them oh, with a sword, probably. If you're a Power Ranger, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you got the helmet on, yeah. Um, well, but see, then who gets to be the Power Rangers? You know, so. but it's shit like that that makes me think, like, well, maybe Sharia law isn't so bad. Because we just do it anyway. If you're killing people with... I, first of all, yeah, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Second of all, murdering somebody with a sword, you're like it's, that's hard to get. It's hard for me to if, experience any kind of feeling of empathy for the victim because it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what I mean? Yeah. I, it does Fully seem impaled. like a funnier death. Yeah. Like, it's... If I was being murdered by a sword, I would sort of be like, huh, are you serious? Yeah, you yeah. get full Mortal Kombat gratification. Uh-huh. You get to look them in the eye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, there was a story about like uh, some home invasion. I like, think near like the Johns Hopkins campus, and the kid killed the burglar with a sword. And what makes it so funny to me is like, you know you're about to die at the hands of like a nerd. You know, right. like imagine being like, whoa, 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 whoa. And he's like, oh, me, oh, me. <laughs> just dealing like, running at you like Naruto. unbridled autism, frothing at the fucking mouth, some kid chewing on his fucking shirt. You know, mm-hmm. that's why the accountant was so good. Did you see that movie? No, nah, I haven't seen that. Another, sorry, Dana. It's another movie about Jamel a retarded person. hasn't seen it either. It's yeah. true, but, I, but you saw it less. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, saw the, I saw the trailer. I yeah. saw. Oh, I don't know. If it's yeah, see, trailer, see the trailer. Yeah. See, that's what I knew. <laughs> the working fair. title was "The Other Affleck," <laughs> <laughs> which doesn't really make sense because no. he's the main one. He's yeah. the main. Yeah, I can't even he think is. of the other one. Casey, Casey, Casey Affleck. Wow, yeah, fuck that nigga, dude. Who? Uh, yeah. yeah, who is I guess a uh, rapist of some sort. Yes. Frank Stallone ass. Yes. Yeah. Well, he's uh, Casey's a talented actor. The, the, the problem with Casey is the the sex thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know the fucking details of that. Yeah. What is, is it like? I don't know. I'm not aware I, I enough of say, Casey Affleck for me to give a shit, shit about whatever it, yeah, that fucking yeah. story is. I will say it was like, when I did learn that, I was like, oh, good. Now I don't have to see Manchester by the Sea. Great. Yeah. I, felt I'm free. actually taking you were released. A, yeah. a moral stand on this, and I'm not watching it. I haven't seen it yet, no. and all I want is to know the difference between that and La La Land. Uh, you haven't seen that one yet. I don't know well, what I either. Of La La Land has singing and dancing. There it's you go. very bad. Don't mm-hmm. see it. Did you see um, Moonlight? I did. Is Moonlight good? That seemed it way is. too heavy for me to No, enjoy. it's not. I, that's what everyone was saying to me. And it is, mm. it's like kind of heavy, but it's not like, I thought it was going to be, I was going to be like crying my eyes out. And it was yeah. just like, I felt a lot of things, but it, it was just a good movie. And oh, it was really? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it's like, I, well I, written, I heard a like, description well of it acted. and I'm like, that sounds like every Irish movie I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's like all did? Irish fiction is, is like, <laughs> oh, and then, you know, the, uh, he died in the factory at age eight. And uh, Wait, for Moonlight? It, what? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It was just depressing and kind of... There's, I mean, it is depressing, but it's also, it's like more nuanced than just being depressing. Oh, okay. I'm, well, right. I do cool hate house nuance. party scenes. It's yeah. just like House Party 2 when they do dance routines. <clears throat> you know yeah, me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm it's a, like they don't tell you about all the house parties in Moonlight and all the, there's a lot of dancing and... 
Um, having a good you know, old time. So it's like La La Land. It's, huh. yeah, Moonlight is basically La La Land. Oh, so I'll just go see La La Land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good too. Uh-huh. It's, they're basically the same. If I, if you eyes. add a La La Land and a Get Out, you've basically seen Moonlight. So I'm done for the year. Yeah. Yeah. Covered it. Yeah, yeah. Mailed it first quarter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Perfect. I don't know what else came out recently. Shit, I, don't know I don't know. We tried to see a movie the other night and everything looks Every, yeah. awful. I don't want to go see Logan. Yeah. Which I didn't realize was another, uh, I, I call him werewolf by accident pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, another Wolverine movie, which yeah. they already made a Wolverine movie, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You don't, they did the origin story. I don't know what the fuck in happens Japan. in This Logan. is after the origin story. It's like an apocalyptic thing. I don't know. I don't care about superhero yeah. movies. How so. many of those fucking X-Men movies have they made? <laughs> I a they gotta thousand. be working on many six. Of I remember that was like no the, more than six. Oh, way more than six, six? dude. The first six? one came oh, out wait, in two thousand. Oh, you know shit. what? I, yeah, I did have it on VHS. Yeah, so yeah, it was way back. They've made so many. Also, I mix them up with the Avengers a lot because they're the same thing. It's all the same. They're all the same people. It's the same fucking movies. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm, the only reason to see those movies is to check in to see how many steroids Hugh Jackman has done <laughs> yeah. in the last 15 years. You know what's crazy? You go back and look at Wolverine in the first X-Men movie and like to see what Hugh Jackman has done to his body. He was like a fucking 30-year-old man when that first movie came out. And he's like svelte. Yeah. And now he looks awful. It's weird that he's also been like... He either does the superhero movies and he's super jacked or he just does like Broadway plays, uh-huh. which like I can't imagine seeing him on like a Broadway stage. Don't you have to like lift everyone over your head on Broadway? I don't know. I've never That's been the audition Broadway. Yeah. for every show. Probably. You know what I saw on Broadway? <laughs> My I, like uh, my rich aunt brought me to go see. Uh, I thought you were naming a play. Yeah. Yes. I thought you were like my I saw aunt. my rich yeah. aunt. <laughs> she brought me to go. To, she yeah. brought me to uh, me and my cousins to uh, the the James Franco of mice and men. <laughs> That's the perfect play for you to see. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is another retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's, what, yeah. that's yes. why I was like, oh uh, shit. Yeah. She was yeah, probably like, yeah, she was probably retarded. like, oh Nick will like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't think it was for me, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I'm torn on Franco, but he definitely doesn't fucking belong on Broadway. Mm-hmm. I, I, I probably would be ambivalent towards him if like, he didn't have all those things that, that Vice let him write. Do you remember those? Yeah. There was like James Franco's book reports. And he's like a 30 year old man that's like, I just read Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like he like saw a Dos Equis commercial once and yeah. was like, all right. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. Do. I have to do. Yeah, yeah. That I'm gonna would be the guy that read a book one time. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, no, they should have. He should have switched roles with uh, with Dowd, and he should have played the uh, Lenny. Mm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that I'd watch been that. More interesting. That sounds like a hit. Yeah, yeah. I told playing out a type. I told my grandmother one time that the original, uh, the, the 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 book was. You know, of mice and men was actually written to warn people about the dangers of the mentally handicapped. And she was like, "Oh, that's interesting." <laughs> Were you like six when this happens? That's what I. Uh, I was probably like just 16. like a very Trolling precocious, yeah, 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 early, very precocious troll. Uh, <laughs> precocious yeah. troll sounds adorable. Do you guys got mm-hmm. grandmas? What's up with you guys? <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah I was just thinking about my stories. grandma. And got sad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah me grandma's too. all dead and shit. I know. Oh, me too. Yeah. When yeah. did they die? My my one grandma just died, but that was. Uh, it, I also found out at the funeral that my entire family had ratted me out to the FBI, so I really didn't give a shit about. It. <laughs> yeah, that's that more dramatic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is like the best way to cope. Distracted with yeah. anything. Have the that's feds really intervene. sweet of them to do that. Yeah, for you. right. <laughs> They're like, look, this is gonna hit Nick hard. Let's uh, let's try to have him put on a federal watch list. That's gonna destroy his life. <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, my grandma died in June. Yeah. Oh, nice. mm-hmm. Did you say, oh, nice? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a that's good that's month to die. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was her. Was uh, it like motorcycle accident or? <laughs> Hell yeah. No, she uh, had some infection of some oh. sort. Yeah. She it's was, so funny she was like 96 a, or you something. You get to a certain age yeah. and it's just like anything will kill you. Yeah. You're like, what happened? You're like, <laughs> you know, I. A, a paper a cut. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, chill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is crazy. I mean, hiccup. we thought she was going to, you know, for like a decade, we were like, you're sort of waiting for the shoe to drop. So it's yeah. like, 
I'm surprised that she was so resilient and she did such a good job and she was so strong. And then, yeah. you know. Hey, hey, RIP, condolences. Thank you. Yeah. She my other, my grandma is demented now. Oh, yeah. I got a couple oh, yeah. demented great aunts. Yeah. Uh, Which, yeah. you know, you would think like that would be kind of cool, you know, like she'd Why be like the Joker. That? Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel you. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She'd just be twisted and wearing like cool makeup. <laughs> Like going around just burning money to piss everybody off, which I I guess she kind of is doing <laughs> by by continuing to stay alive. You know? <laughs> yeah, shout out my mom. Minnie just like yells at uh, attendants. That's yeah, oh, yeah. She just thinks she's at her house. I will say when my what my grandma died, we like house? when we went to the <laughs> the like assisted living facility, and all the nurses were like being really nice about it, but they were like, oh, you know, she had a spark. She was always given a little attitude, and I was like, "My grandma was a bitch to you." And yeah, I yeah, know yeah. that that's what you're saying, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry. Yeah, I liked her, and I don't. You don't have to. It's yeah. fine. I remember going to see my grandmother in her nursing home, and it was fucking horrifying. It was like yeah. terrifying. There, I remember once I was walking through the hallway, and they had this like one section where they had some Julie Andrews movie on, and they've like wheeled all the old people in front of the Julie Andrews movie, and there's some woman in a wheelchair just like, ah! <laughs> ah! just screaming at the top of her lungs, like looking around, and no one's reacting to it. Yeah, I guess that you know she's Which just is trapped the in some part. kind of yeah. yeah. Everybody that's so much just creepier. Being chill. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, that's. And they make you eat like fucking Jello and shit. Like it's day. worse than prison. It's Jello with prison. Fruit at least they don't paint prison pink. I feel like it would fuck with you more if pri- You know who does that? Uh, Arpeo, the worst person in the United States. He paints the prison. He pink? makes them wear pink to dehumanize oh. them. What? And it was. It's like the same shade of pink that my grandma's nursing home was painted. Oh. Yeah. He's awful. Clinical. Is he pink? still? He's. Uh, what's going on with him? Where He's he? facing federal charges. That's what I thought. Yeah. But I wasn't, I, I was he, like, he was no, I can't. That's too good. <laughs> that would be, anyway. Yeah. But, you know, he's a million years He'll old, be so fine. he's going to die comfortably. Yeah, you know? he's also yeah. probably not going to get, nothing's going to happen to him. Yeah, he should get raped in prison, right? Well, That's, that would be great. Yeah. At they should. We least. should let somebody rape Joe Arpaio. In holding, yeah, more right. surprising. In the back of the squad car, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where it should happen. Come, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the guy, you know, the guy, the pro- a process server. That's who she is. <laughs> Some guy, fucking like marginally related to the criminal justice system. Yeah, a fucking like, the guy, it's the like valet some... outside the clerk's office. Yeah, <laughs> is who should be the guy that fucking yeah. gets him. Yeah, is like, he leaves he, the DMV. No excuse for, for, yeah. for, <laughs> for how he got country. pumped. <laughs> That's who should do it. Um, yeah. So I guess if you guys, you, you have anything else you want to plug, we could wrap it up on Joe Arpaio should be raped. Mm-hmm. That uh, is a good I little stamp. totally uh, Hopefully I don't suck you guys into the, uh, the the outrage directed at me. I probably oh. you guys would be fine. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I've been, I, I need some, some buzz. I, let me tell you. Look, <laughs> yeah. it, it feels oh. shitty, but... It is like there really is truth to the whole like there's no such thing as bad yeah, publicity. Yeah, man. It, re- it really it does nothing but fucking help you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good. Well, hey. unless you're Joe Arpaio, yeah, right. Bad publicity for him. Well, but he did. You know, you he get, did a bad thing. You know, you get raped by a mailman. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, a mailman in a pith helmet. That would be. <laughs> 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 well, shit, I don't got shit to plug. Uh, plug uh, your, your uh, podcast. Jam- JamelJohnson.com, Air Buds, uh, Broccoli House on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I got weed if y'all need it. Yeah, he sells nice. weed. Adam also sells weed. Blap, blap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if I should have mentioned that. I don't know if you... Uh, well, we, uh, it's which Adam? Late. There's no way. Yeah, exactly. My good friend Adam Levine. Yeah, Adam yeah. Levine. Yeah. Um, cool Adam guy. Levine's house party is what he calls his <laughs> weed delivery service. <laughs> Uh, 24 hours well hopefully uh, uh, this is kind of a sedate ending which usually I like to have like some kind of banger it's not on you guys it's me this is not, well, look, I'm this sleepy is our, I'm it's sleepy. our first pod yeah. you know what I mean yeah 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 I gotta the first say like episode weird, of the west a, coast yeah it feels different like talking into a microphone oh really oh so you got like broadcast anxiety well, I guess I come alive well bro I oh, mean okay. this I is, just feel like come, I, town is, come town's pressure Oh, is it? To be a citizen of Cumtown, you know what I mean? That's, it's not taken lightly. 
I guess. You know, you know what's fucked up is like a lot of people worry like, oh, did I say something that's like problematic or, you know, whatever. My biggest anxiety, I like fucked up and got JCVD's first movie credit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like inundated with people correcting me, which is like the whole fucking house of cards comes tumbling down. Yeah. Because I don't know shit about fuck. I have no expertise or knowledge in any field but that. You know, yeah. And for this me is to your fuck bread up, and butter. Yeah, such a basic yeah. detail. Mm. And the guy corrected me. He was because I, I, I was like, oh yeah, he's 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 the bad guy in No Retreat, No Surrender three, which he's not. Mm. He's the bad guy in No Retreat, No Surrender the oh. original. Yeah, I was gonna say too. No, just it, well, yeah. Well, the guy, the, some guy hit me up and he was like, it's actually the first movie. And I was like, oh yeah, I knew that. And I was like, technically, actually, he his first first role was in Breaking Two. As an extra dancing in the background, he was like, "Nope, it was the first breaking," <laughs> which is true. So I fucked it up twice. Oh, even trying. Oh, so if any of you know this guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pu- I'm gonna post his personal information on the internet. Put him out there. This guy who called me out. Let yeah. him and I want you to harass him. I want you to get him fired and possibly kill him and his family, if you don't mind. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so we'll leave, we'll leave that there. I uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> is that what is that German? Yeah, I think it's French. Huh? Eh? French. Lil Francois, and they yeah, say that it's I in do. Sound of Music. Mm-hmm. I do, right? I, I do. do. But do that's you. is that because I'm, imagine how fucking an, annoying it would have been to be at that house party and you're like, I'm getting out of here, and they're like, wait, my children have to do the gay ass song. <laughs> they're like, man, come on, I gotta drive home drunk through Nazi Germany. You know how fucking hard that is, and I have to listen to this fucking song by oh, your kid. shithead kids. Yeah. <laughs> kids with ascots on. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> right. out of here. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, you guys were fun. Thank you so well, much for being yeah, on the podcast. Thanks for having thanks for having Town West. Bye. We're gonna do this more because I, I don't think there's gonna be enough time to do it with uh, with uh, uh, like enough episodes to front yeah, next three weeks. Yeah. Cool. So we'll close. have another one. Um, yeah. Follow these guys on on, on Twitter and Instagram and shit. Uh, they are good friends of mine. So uh, you know, please do please it's do. It's all that, real, baby. You know, yeah. support support Come Town West. Uh, you guys are great. Thanks. <laughs>